So let's see, today we are doing, what's our lesson name today? It's practice B in rate and speed. So day six, 6.2C. Okay. All right, so our first problem says the table below shows the postage rate for packages. And we wanna know, what is the cost of mailing a package that weighs five ounces? Well, we have to combine rates again because we've got a rate for the first ounce and then we've got a different rate for the last, for every ounce after the first one. Okay, so what did you guys come up with? What was the answer to the tail? Okay. Okay. Nice job. So you did one ounce is a dollar and seventeen cents. That's the first ounce, right? Then you have four left over. So one ounce at the second rate is seventeen cents, and we need to know what four ounces is. And so you multiplied seventeen times four, and you got sixty-eight cents. You said, and then you added them together. Great job. So what did you get? Nice job. One dollar and eighty-five cents is correct. Okay, and then letter B on that problem said says Theodora paid two dollars and thirty-six cents to mail a package. What is the weight of her package? Kella, how'd you solve that one? Okay, so you did it this way. So you subtracted the first ounce. Okay, so let's let's put that step down there. So you that first ounce is gonna cost a dollar seventeen and um you got what? One dollar and nineteen cents. Okay, I, for some reason it won't let me write my decimal there because it keeps trying to pop up the little buttons. Okay, so one ounce, let me just write this down at a dollar seventeen, and then you divide it a dollar nineteen by seventeen cents. Okay, let me do that over here. Okay, so do you had to you shifted the decimal place? Okay, great, nice job. And what did you get for that? Okay. Okay, so then you, hang on just a second. So then you did, um, let's see, we we're trying to find weight. So we are starting with dollars on the, on the left and then weight on the right. And you went to a dollar nineteen, and that was seven ounces. You said. There's a lag time in my screen today, you guys, and it's really driving me crazy because I can't. It's not writing when I'm writing. All right, so you added them together, and you got eight ounces. Okay, great job. There were a couple ways to do that problem. Did anybody do it a different way? You could have, yeah, Kinsey. You you sub you subtracted that dollar eighty five right from two thirty six, and then went from there. Okay, so eight ounces was correct on that one. All right, let's go on. The fares of the Golden Gate Ferry are as shown as below. Um, letter A says, what is the total fare for a family consisting of a 38-year-old, a 15-year-old, and an eight-year-old? Okay, so notice seniors and children under 12 are one fare and then adults are another fare. All right, um, Nora, why don't you tell me how you solved this one? So I did, um, for the two adults, I did um, $7.25 times two. Okay. Which is $14.90. Okay, just a second. Let me go ahead and put the rate for one adult. You said it's $7.45. Mm -hmm. And we have two adults because it's the adult plus the 15-year-old. And you got fourteen ninety. Yeah, and then I did fourteen ninety plus three seventy because that's the fair to take on one child. Okay. Uh, Three seventy, and you got eighteen sixty. Nice job. That is correct. Okay, how about B? B was maybe a little bit harder. 
because you needed to find the right combination. So who's got an answer for that one? Maddie? I just did answer check. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. So how did you, did you have a systematic way for guessing and checking on that one? Um, that's okay. I, um, Alex? So first I added two kids and then two adults. Okay. And then I got uh, $21.30. Okay. So then I knew if I added an adult, it would put it in the right amount. Great. So you could have done something like this. Um, you could have made a chart and you could have done like, I would have started somewhere around two adults, two kids, just guesstimating, right? Two adults would have cost $14.90. Two children or seniors would have cost $3.70 times two. So what is that? $7.40. Um, and $14.90 plus $7.40 would have been $22.30. So that's that's less than our $29.75. So then I would have just started adding some. So three adults would have been 1490 plus 745. So that would be 2235 um, plus two children, 740. 2230 plus 2235, I think we're on the right track. And we would have had, what was our 29th? Why did I not do that right? 2235, is that right? I'm not sure, but anyways, that's the right combination. I wrote down a chart and then now I'm like looking at it and wondering if I made a mistake in my chart, but okay. So yeah, that's a guess and check problem. Three adults, two children were correct. Okay, so these these problems you're gonna, you would want to draw a chart for. The Grand Plaza Hotel charges the rates below $100, $100 per night on the weekends and $85 per night on the weekdays. Um, so this Mrs. Smith checks in on Monday, checks out on Thursday. Ray, what would you do? Thing like this. And um, there, you checked in on Monday, so one, and then Tuesday is another, and then Wednesday is three. But then mm -hmm. you wouldn't do Thursday because they check out. So I right. Good. So 65, 65, and 65. And you got how much? 85. 85. Whoopsie daisies. It's 85. Thank you. And what was your answer? I said $100. 255. Yep. Great job. Yep. Okay. And then letter B says she checks in on Saturday and checks out on Monday. Okay. Now we need to use two different rates, don't we? So from Saturday to Sunday, she pays one rate. Um, actually, I take it back. She doesn't pay two different rates because she's got two weekend nights there. So what's the weekend rate? Elijah? $100 per night, good. Where did my thing go? There it is. So she pays $100 for each of those nights. And Elijah, what was the total? What's that? Yeah, 200 is correct, nice job. And then how about letter C, she checks in on Sunday and checks out on Wednesday. What'd you guys have for that? My koi. Okay, who's got an answer for that one? Make sure you're taking notes, you guys. Annie? Yeah, nice job. Tell me how you did it. So I did. I did, like, I did it on Monday night. Yeah. And then I did a Okay, so she stays the first night, it's 100, and then it's 85, and then 85, okay? 85, 85. Yep. Nice job. So our total is 270. Cookies! All right, Pastion, you want to help me out? No, oh, let's not. <laughs> All right, let's find some, let's find the cost of some cookies. Okay. Who hasn't helped me out yet? Come on, guys. All right, Ainsley, you're going to help me out. So what did you do here? Mia wants 12 cookies. She's going to eat them all. 
Yeah, oh, find the cost of 17 cookies. Okay, let's do that one. All right, Ainsley, what do I do? Okay. Okay. You did seven times 80? Yes. Okay, but Ainsley, hold up. What's 17 minus 12? That's okay. You were you were on the right track, but you just got mixed up. Yes, it's five. So you know you know how to do it. You're doing it the correct way. So now I should multiply 80 cents times five, not seven, right? So I bet you can do that in your head. Because I bet you know what eight times five is. What is that? 40, yeah. It's not 400, it's $4, right? There we go. That's all right. So what's the cost of 17 cookies, guys? $12. $12. Okay. Now, Mia wants, how many? She wants 12 cookies. Should she buy them individually or buy the dozen? Um, well, in order to determine the answer to this question, we're going to have to do it both ways. Okay. So, Charlie. Oh. Um, well, 80. Well, eight times twelve is um, ninety six. Which nine dollars in twelve cookies. Uh huh. Um, but she, she wants. Oh yeah. Okay, I was reading that incorrectly. Yeah. Okay, so we already know that a dozen is um, $8. Okay, so 12 cookies equals $8. And you did it the other way. You did one cookie is 80 cents. And then you told me the amount for 12 cookies without the bulk discount, which was 80 cents times 12, which was what? $9.60. $9 Good. Good. So she's going to save money if she buys it by the bulk deal. Yeah, exactly. She could, couldn't she? She could buy 14 cookies for that amount of money. Yes. All right. Let's take a look at your exit ticket. I bet this looks familiar because I actually had you guys do this yesterday. So we already know the answers here. All right. So what is she, let's see, what is this? This is rate of flow of water. So remember this problem you guys did, um, we did this yesterday. For the first five minutes, the water flowed at 15 liters per minute. And for the next five, it was flowing at 10 liters per minute. So from the third to the fifth minute, how much water flowed? Come on, guys. We already Everybody should know the answer here. Not 65. Right here. We're starting here. Third to the fifth minute. Yeah. Go ahead, Anthony. Would it be 30? It would not be 30. Let's check it here. Okay, remember it's three, so it's three minutes because it's third to third, uh, second to the third, third to fourth. Third, fourth, fifth. So how much is that? Yeah, three times 15, which is what guys? 45, and that's got two more minutes at the next rate. So two times what? 10, so 20. So what's our total? 65 liters. Okay. Nice job. All right. You have a worksheet for your homework tonight, which I'll pass out in just a second here.